Opposition lawmakers in Ukraine shouted shame as Prime Minister Mykola Azarov tried to explain a highly controversial decision. His government has scrapped plans to sign a key political and trade deal with the European Union. Hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians have been rallying in Kiev against their president's U-turn on Europe amid increasingly chaotic scenes. They defied a ban together, and while most of the demonstration was peaceful, young radicals used a bulldozer to try to break into Viktor Yanukovych's headquarters. An attack, horrible, brutal, barbaric. Just some of the ways onlookers describe the scenes at the pro-Europe overnight protests in Kiev. Half an hour ago, and really very much at the start, uh, we found out that the Prime Minister, Mykola Azarov, has handed in his resignation. He says that he wants to clear the way uh, to make negotiations more effective. Um, this is one of the main calls that the people have been protesting for all this time, that the uh, figures at the top of this government should go, Azarov being one of them, and then, of course, President Yanukovych. Now Earlier, lawmakers voted unanimously to remove him from office. But the president insists that parliament's decisions are illegal and he has no intention of leaving the country. They're welcome here as liberators. In Balaclava, armed Russian soldiers in full combat gear form part of the military occupation of Crimea. Ukraine's powerful neighbor to the east is now effectively in control. In response, the acting president of Ukraine has warned Russia his country is ready to go to war if necessary.